on our feet as we welcome Amen. the pastor to give us the message for today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord of Jesus. Church, can you begin to appreciate the Lord? Can you begin to thank him? Shabakura bababa. Ribakushki brakaturu bushikaburia. Open your mouth and appreciate him. Open your mouth and give him thanks. Praise due unto him. Kalibu shakaburia bababa. He is so faithful. He has never fell and he will never fail. Ya bababa kushki brakatara bakushka brayanda makuria. Boregi demo kushika baragade rababa kushkiria. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Kikiki, Kabuka Baba, Karakatoro Bokushikiti, Limbra Kateyaba, Liba Baba Bashikaboria. We are about to step into the month of September. Let me tell you, every month is not the same. Every month comes with a different season. Every month comes with a different testimony. Let me tell you, the month, of, the month of September is a month of us breaking through and breaking forth. Nothing will ever stop you. It's a mirror. It's like, it's like winning jackpot. It's like winning one billion dollars. Though it cannot be what God is about to do for you, it's not about one billion. One billion is too small. But I'm trying to tell you, I, I didn't doubt it when I heard that ah, this year's month of September is our month of high praise. Shakabura Maharia. Lebababa. Thank you, your God. Breathe upon your word. Lord, bless these children that you have given unto me. Bless the musical department. They made us happy this evening. Make them happy, Lord. Cause them, O oh God, to rejoice in their services unto you. Be thou glorified in their lives. Lord, I pray that the peace and the prosperity we are enjoying in this church, that they will enjoy greater in their time. In the name of Jesus. Our prayers is that our children will be greater than us. Thank you, oh God. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Please be seated. Go quickly, go with me to the book of First Corinth Chronicles. First Chronicles. Chapter 17, verse 16. First. Chronicles. 17, verse 16. Listen, church. This is our month. In the next how many minutes? 41 minutes. We will enter into the month of September. Our month of high praise. This is not praise. Of the praise we hey, thank you, Jesus. He's talking about high praise. Is a, is, a, is a lifestyle that you don't read book about. It's a lifestyle that, that God himself brings you to that level. If God doesn't bring you to the level of high praise, forget it. You can't. You can't pretend about it. It's a season in your life that you get to when you are committed, when you are super committed, to the things of the Lord. I want to share with you in the Bible. Just one man. That experienced this level of high praise. And how it came about. And how. His life. Turned around and he moved to the level of this high praise. And I want to tell you church. If you will pay the same price this man paid. One day in your life, even as a bishop has declared it, you will see this high praise. It's a spirit. It will overwhelm you. It will take over your life. You can't pretend about it and you can't control it. You say, because you hate wickedness and love righteousness. I have anointed your head above with oil of gladness, above your equals for the five or seven. Because you love, you hate wicked, you love righteousness, and I've hated wickedness. 
season of high praise. Church, this is your time to enjoy supernatural praise, lifestyle of praise. Don't miss out. If you have not started it, this is your beginning. This is the beginning of season of high praise in your life. Let's go there, son. 16. And David the king came and sat before the Lord. And David and the, the king came and sat before the Lord. And said, And said, Who am I? Who am I? O Lord God. O Lord God. And what is my house? Who, which, you know, you know, he said, who am I? Look at me. Oh, church, church, listen. You don't understand. The man standing before you already, only trying, discovering my foundation, where I came out from, my lifestyle, before God picked me from rubbish bin. It's not even rubbish. Rubbish bin that had been thrown away. God went there and brought me and said, if you will continue from where Abishop Benson at the house has stopped, I'll give you double. Double. That's David. There was nothing in him at the beginning of his life that looks like a king. He loved looking after the sheep. And if you, say, if you hear him, he carries his sheep here. Which means he's a friend of a sheep. <laughs> no plan to be in the king's house. No plan to be the king of Israel. No vision. Not at all. And after everything, when he saw where God has brought him, this is high praise. When the spirit of high praise caught him, one day he left everything. He entered into the house of the Lord. And what did he do? And said, mm. Who am I? Who am I, Lord? Oh, Lord God. My shaka. And what is my house? What is my house? My family, nothing. They, I, I came out from... Do you, if I keep on saying this, you people doubt it. My wife's younger sister in their church. Somebody came and in their church, I was a friend on Facebook with one of the members of their church. And as they were discussing about this man of God, and lo and behold, it was my wife's younger that she would say, this man is always, every time on Facebook, I like. My wife's younger brother, younger sister said, that's my in-law. My elder sister is the wife. She said, no, you, no, 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 no. She said, yes, Pastor Joseph. So, being proud of her sister's husband, and the, and the lady asked, the ladies from my village, you know, we have different, different uh, clan, just like suburb. So the lady said, ah, so this is your in-law, yeah. And the, my young wife, younger sister said, he's from your village, Ohofia. <laughs> he's from Ohofia. He said, really? So he's my brother. Yes, he's my brother. He said, which community in Ohofia? And my wife's younger sister said, Ufielak. Say to Fiawa. What do you mean, Ufielak? There's no name like that in Ohofia. Somebody that came. He said, I'm sure I'm saying the truth. Ufielak, he's from Ufielak. He said, I said, I'm from Ohofia. What do you mean, Ufielak? It means we are not known. But one thing is going to happen. God will pick you from that unknown place. And make you known all over the world. 
Very soon, people will start asking me, Idika, is a country in Africa? <laughs> Why? God is about doing something. Because my house, you know, Australia, the name will be Ufielak. So that when people travel from Mohofia and come to Australia and see that mansion, Ufielak, I'm going to put the name Ufielak on the map of the world. And when that season comes, it's called the season of high praise. See, as I'm talking, you think, don't worry, when we go to Malaysia, watch, keep tuned on your television, on your Facebook, hear testimonies. When people, when my members, we dance, 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 and dance, and dance, and dance, in Malaysia, when we started, they would look at me there. Those that fell, they can intimidate me with money. They know me now, Pastor Joseph, no nonsense, Pastor. Your yeah, money is nonsense to me. And when they say, Pastor Joseph, we want to do this, we want to do this, we want to do that. I said, if you are, not, if you are doing it for your own praise, I don't need it. Nobody will share the glory of God, the God that called me. I can't allow it. Go with your money. When they dance, 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 dance they show me. Without this money, you will not eat. Without this money, you will beg. They put it on the offering bag. And people will clap for them. When I come to preach, I will say, I'm not beating around the bush. My end is Australia. No, when people were thinking that without their money, I cannot eat. We, could, we weren't able to afford glory school fees at that time. But I'll tell them, God is taking me to Australia. What are we going to show them in Malaysia? That I wasn't just saying it. I was already in there. In there. I'm talking about season of high praise. You can never enjoy season of high praise until God do something supernatural. Look at David. He said, who am I? Remember, everybody was rejected in his family, which means at a time they were accepted. When his father was asked, do you have any? He said, no, first. And now came in with the English, except. In, who am I in my father's house? Nobody. And who is my, what is my lineage? My father's house has no name in Israel. But today, I am married to the son, daughter, though that's not one of my priorities. To marry a king's daughter is not my business. I don't even think about that. I just want a woman that will tolerate my weaknesses. And I will tolerate hers. Because I know my foolishness. I know my weaknesses. And that is why no power can stop me. Even God. Because I judge myself. He said, if you judge yourself, even God will not judge you again. I wasn't looking for the, the, the richest woman. Because the richest woman will kick me out when I mess up. I was looking for a woman that will see my weaknesses. And say, what I have come to do is to change you. And not to challenge you. And I say, God, if you give me that woman, I will, the Bible says, a virtuous woman, the husband sings about her at the city gate. He's always singing, every time, singing, singing. Only there is no other word. Because I know my foolishness. I know if God give me the wrong woman, my ministry is gone. Many people that are benefiting from the gift of God upon my life will be lost, will perish. So you know the kind of weaknesses I have? If I have married the wrong woman, one, the church altar, I would have broken it on her head. And that's me, Pastor Joseph. I would have the church, I would, this table, I would break it on her head in one service. In one service. And I will be in prison. 
and the people that are enjoying my gift today. And on the last day, I go to hell because I didn't multiply my gift. But I prayed for God for one year and a half. I said, I know my foolishness. I know my weaknesses. If you don't help me, Lord, on the last day, I will come before you. I fasted for one year and a half. For this, my foolishness, for you to give me a woman. Because I wasn't sure of marrying because of my weaknesses. When I told my other brother, I said, that's a cause. You need to pray for that and get your wife. Today, God himself, by himself, gave me a woman that all her business is just to see that my weaknesses are not exposed you don't know. The day my wife, that's why I keep on saying, the day she divorced me, I, have, I will resign. I keep on, from the first day I came to Malaysia, Australia, if my wife divorced me, I will resign. What's the need going to go for? An, I'm not even sure the, my, the, the, my wife is too. So I just resigned. I said, God, I have finished you because let me just enjoy the glory. The far have, I have succeeded though. And let me just go back as a businessman. Even if it's cleaning, send me back. So that I will not destroy what I have already. And do you know the greatest people I'm afraid of? People that brings out my weaknesses. If you want to showcase my weakness to the world, I hate you without, I hate you with passion. No matter how far you have blessed me, if you want to showcase my weakness to public, Immediately my love will go down. My hatred will appear. That's why I don't have company. I don't have many people. I don't have, I only have my family. Why am I saying all these things? When God, when you have weaknesses, you know that can destroy you. And yet God is protecting you. And showcasing you to the world as if you have no. The Bible says because of many revelations. That is why God allowed that weakness. So that you don't be proud of what God is doing with you. Hear me from the time God called me to now. I'm yet to tell you that I've achieved one thing. Christ in me, the hope of glory. We are talking about high praise. It doesn't just, it starts with a man that knows his weaknesses. It starts with you understanding how weak you are, how foolish you are, how poor you are, how unknown you are, how irrelevant you were before. And when God puts you in that position of relevance, when God brings you from, who oh, I never believed it. I never believed it. That up to now, I have not butchered my wife and eight or my children. Who am I, Lord? What is my lineage? You know my weaknesses. You know my foolishness, oh God. Yet up to now, you are showcasing me as a perfect man. That's what is called high praise, season of high praise. Those that are perfect can never enjoy it. Those that are rich can never enjoy it. It's only those that are poor in spirit. The broken and the contrite heart that enjoys high praise. Look at David. A time at a time he came. Say, who am I? I knew my weaknesses. And he wrote it in the Bible, 69 verse. Can you give it to us? Psalm 69, 5 and 6. People don't, people wonder why every time I'm giving God praise. I'm thanking him and speaking in tongues. Man, the man you are seeing here with my weaknesses and my location, where I am today is a miracle. So give him glory by telling the world the truth. 
Give the Lord praise by telling the world the truth of where he picked you from. Oh, you've not seen anything. Continue, son. Oh, God. Oh, God. Thou knowest my foolishness. You know my foolishness. And my sins are not hid from thee. This is it. This is a man. He knew, his, he knew where God picked him from. Look at my children. Oh, my God. Even uh, the twins, they are English. The way they speak English now. Until my 38th year, I couldn't speak it. Look at two years' gears. When they, when they, 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 he, was, he was saying broccoli today. I looked at her. Broccoli. She was eating broccoli and was calling the name broccoli. Even I cannot pronounce it right. My two years, and my wife was correcting her. I said, this, the other one is broccoli, and the other one, I don't even know the difference. Flower what? Call it flower. I said, and they were saying it, speak. I mean, who are my Lord? And these are my children. Sometimes I wake up, I see them in my house. I want to run away. Do you know why I want to run away? I thought that I came into President's house and I was sleeping on his bed. If President catch me here on his bed, sometimes I look at my wife, I think I'm sleeping with President's wife. And when he come on my head, boom, I woke up, I see her. I say, what, where am I? Where am I? President of Australia house. Oh, yeah. I want to run. My wife said, come, where am I? I said, I said, do you know who I am? Irrelevant. Everybody knew my weaknesses. They are still saying, people that knew me before, that have not known that God's supernatural power has lifted me from grass to grace. When David did not only expect, you know, David was, that was why Jesus chose him. To answer his name. Jesus, that son of David. He's, he was the only man in the Old Testament. Greater than, he, more than his father Abraham. Though he cannot take the first position of Abraham. That was a priest. A king. And a prophet. You can never. None of the Old Testament. That had history. You either be a priest. And a king. Or a prophet and a king. You can never be the three. Priest, king, and a prophet. So when he discovered from nobody, he was now a prophet. He just said, let me just be watching. <laughs> he started speaking about his future, the way I was speaking about my future. I saw Australia, 3rd of October, 2003. I was, if, the, if you see my neck at that time, it was just like this. Camera stand. And the worst part of it, when I'm going and people, you know, when you look very tattered and hungry, and people greet you, hello, Idika, shokorokokorokokorokoto, marabahababa. I know, I know you are getting crazy. I know something is wrong. How we show, oh, this fine young man, what is happening to him? Idika said, good morning, shekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekekek
And I will not enter when everybody is entering, when their head is clear. I'll be, I will only enter when the uh, luxurious boy wants to leave. I'm telling you the truth. This is where God picked me. I couldn't afford money for conversion transport. I will go in my house, walk on the ticket, make it, make it, make it. Then when they are saying, we are moving, I'll say, ah, my ticket, my ticket. That time, the real people that are taking tickets has left. Is now the conductor. I say, look at my ticket. You just look at it. Okay, okay, come in. Pam. I'll jump in. I will stand from there to convention. I can't even have money to eat. No money to eat. Every convention. But do you know what happens? I will have money to buy cassettes. The messages. I just keep the money from the messages. When I get there, I will not touch that money for the messages. I will be going to the women cooking. I've already, God has started doing something in my life at that time. Because I've already read the Bible six times. Yet I was still cheating. <laughs> Forging tickets. So do you know what I could do when the women are cooking? The convention will be going on. I will be their own preacher. And when I preach, they will give me one plate of rice. I'll say, you are a powerful pastor. I'll, eat, I'll, eat, I'll, eat. I'll, go, I'll go and keep on reading my books. When the convention finish, I will rush all the tapes. I will buy it. Yet I don't have money to go back home. Even if God is wicked. Even if God of Abishab Bessonet is wicked. That week ago would have considered my commitment and my passion. When I went to confession, I had enough money to go home. But when it was time, a prophecy came and said, there are people here. The message was the nine that didn't come back. One that came back that was healed. And he was a Samaritan. He was not even a Jew. And it was the only one that was made whole. And a prophecy came. I said, there's somebody here. You're not even among the one relevant. <laughs> you are irrelevant. But God is saying, Kalibo Shakaboria, from, that was 2000. From 2000 this year, your name will be on the map. I had no money to go back. For my first time, I went for a convention with at least 3,000 naira. Church, do you know what I did? Only that prophecy I had, I opened my bag. That whole money, 3,000 something. I wasn't thinking of how to go home. I just rushed at the other. I said, I'm that one. Pim! 2,000! Yeah, 2,000! So knowing I'm still alive today meant I went home. I lived that miracle. But I went home without paying one cent. I went home with the most comfortable transportation have ever because I gave God all and from that day these are people that enjoy high praise what, what, what affliction have you passed through what price have you paid David looked at himself so when I came to convention 2000 do you know when I see Idahosa's children, only God knows. I see them as Michael Jackson. I see them as Eddie Murphy. When I see, I see them as Oprah Winfield. What does that mean? Idika, how can irrelevant man like you ever? 2000. But with my passion, I didn't know God was in. Look at what God said about David. In Psalms chapter 78. Start from 70. Psalm 78. Verse 70 to 72. That was the reason why God chose him. And that was what I discovered. I said, God, even if the God of Abishab Benson and Ahosa be wicked, but he will see my heart and change the story of my family. Read it. He chose David also. Do you see the reason? He chose David also. The same way he's going to choose you. His servant. And took him from the sheepfolds. And took him from the sheep from his lowest level. From following the, the ewes, great with young. <laughs> he follows animal good. <laughs> oh, that's his best friend. Continue. He brought him to feed Jacob his people. 
And he lifted him and said, not only will you feed sheep and gold, you start feeding my people. Keep on reading. You see the fine, you see the reason. And Israel, his inheritance. Yes. So he, so he fed them according to the integrity of his heart. You see now. The, are you getting now? No, no, no. Just watch out. God saw his passion in lower level, how he was looking after sheep and gold. And God said, if I upgrade him, he will use the same heart and passion. Remember what did the Bible say about bear? He said, when bear comes, David will kill it. He said, lion, he will tear the lion. He said, no weapon. He said, even when the lion takes the sheep, he will go to the lion's mouth, open the lion's mouth, and bring out the sheep and kill the lion. Bear hand. What does that mean? If I perish, I perish. All his lifestyle. Church, we are talking about high praise. It's a, it's, a, it's a season. In one's life, when you've decided that everything about you is God and Jehovah. Am I making sense? Oh, your season of five praises now. Your season of five praises, what? Nah. God will give you reason forever. So when I come to conversion, I see Feb. I'll be looking at him. This is not a human being. This is a diamond. And look at me. I'm only a rubbish. Smelling rubbish. Can I ever shake hands with people in that level? 2,000. But one thing did not change in my life. My passion for Jehovah. My passion to know the God of our Bishop Benson in the house. And you will hear, oh, Feb is in America. I say, whoa, that one has finished it. Hey, this is, uh, if the house of daughter married a, a, a Londonia. Hey! I can never come near to that. Never in my life. Never. Church, you don't understand. I was so poor that getting married, one of the things that was, if I marry somebody, where will we live? <laughs> no money for us. I can't pay rent. I can't. Yet I was, God is saying, this family, I will bless you double. Whatever you are seeing in there. Irrelevant man. I will bless you double. What? These are people, when I, you don't know, Mark Jackson. I see Eddie Murphy. <laughs> I see the world's greatest people. And God is saying, double, double, 2,000, double. I say, it's not possible, God. <laughs> and imagine what you never believe will happen. And when it happens, that is what is called the season of high praise. When you sit down, what is my lineage? Who am I, Lord? But church is not to boast. But I'm here to tell you, in our commission, I have done greater than fair. For church of God mission. I have done. What am I looking for? I'm looking for a reason. For that God of Abishab Benson in Dahosa. To bless me the way he promised. Faber has not planted any church. In church of God mission. I've done more than any of Abishab Benson in Dahosa's children. So I get what I'm saying now. How will you? No reason. You have no, no future. You are nobody. No, my message is to wake people up. I'm not among the people. When I enter any place, people that are lazy will become hardworking. I move people to become hardworking. I move people to leave the palace and start looking for the dance of lions. Where you will show people that the God of Daniel is still your God. God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. One of the things that are destroying ministry today is dwelling in the palace forever. And that is why I'm not going to leave anything that will make my children feel they are in the palace. So that they will challenge the God of Abishab. And bring to pass what I never brought to pass. I can't make them. I can't. I can't. I will show them the way. 
And they will discover the God themselves. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You might not understand. That is why I can never stop praising God. Because I check the time I used to see these people as Eddie Murphy. And I found out that I'm not even an Eddie Murphy now. I'm like Trump. I'm not under anybody. I'm under the God of our Bishop Benson in the house. I don't know how you will understand my message. Before when I started this ministry, all my intention was if the headquarters doesn't help me, I will not succeed. But church is our season of helping the headquarters. That is what erupts the season of high praise. I wish they would bring us in. I wish they would carry every branch along. I wish they would say, let us hear the testimonies of Australia and Malaysia and see whether, you know, all these things we are looking for. Because we have discovered the God of Abishab and Sreda Hosea. That is why Malaysia is faith recovered center. Faith recover. We have recovered the faith of Abishab and Sreda Hosea. And what is this favor center? Either Canada or Israel will be Joseph Center. And the other one will be Odichima Center. It's the name that is important. It's not. Joseph bringing back the glory. Going to Egypt. Church, what I'm saying. High season of high praise is a process. It's not a magic. You don't just, God, I claim season of high praise. Lord, I claim, you'll be claiming and die. It's a season you sit down. You check your weaknesses. You check your foolishness. You check and you check where God picked you. And you sit down and you will see. You, you can't control it. The joy. You, you, you don't know. You do, you, do you know who, who this woman is? And every morning she asks you, what do you want to eat? My God. High praise have started. Kabul, yeah. Me? A man that, my, in my mindset, I can't even, where will, if, if I marry a woman, I would be sleeping on the street with her. But now I'm sleeping in a house, $400 a week rent. $400 a week rent. A man that had no, no hope of getting one room. $400 a week rent. Not a month, a week. Which means a month, 1,006. If it's five weeks, 2,000. These are the things that erupts high praise. That's the season God is talking about. He said, this is the season that you will look back. And when you see where you are, you can't, nothing in life will ever. What do you think will happen when my daughter, Glory, becomes the citizen, I mean the president of Biafra? This, hype, this one, look at what will happen to me. The Bible said when David got to that level, when he was dancing, his skirt was up. That's how it is going to happen to me. I wouldn't even consider what is happening in my life. My kind of dance, eh? My kind of dance. Season of high praise. Why? You have checked where God picked you and you are seeing your daughter, the president of Biafra. You see? How is it going to come to pass? This girl is not a human being. But you don't know. What? And that word became flesh. And dwelt among us. So as I'm speaking it to it, she's different. She has been created for that purpose. She's a son of God. Season of high praise. Imagine the university. She started using it to do uh, as a philanthropist. 
All she's doing is foundation for her presidency. And before she will now be ready to contest for president, she might have given scholarship to maybe all the governmental, the, all the people working in the government. And when she come out, the people that she gave scholarship, we now say, no, there's no other person better on that seat. Except this lady that have given us scholarship. She will not struggle to win the vote. And they, when they put her there, she will now show them that she has the wealth of Malaysia. And she has the wealth of Australia. And she will bring it to Biafra land and change the story. And wherever my spirit, the Bible says we are a, by the cloud of, I will join the cloud of witnesses. I'll be seeing her. I know that will be happening where I am as it's happening in the life of Edahosa now. Joy. Overflow in my heart. Joy. I said that was, I served the God I served. He has not, the same way Idahosa is happy. Because God has never failed to raise another Idahosa. Church, if you don't know it, I'm a, I'm a next generation of Idahosa. Now listen, let me prove it beyond reasonable doubt to you. God said, I'll give you double. In Nigeria, they decided to celebrate the next generation of Archbishop Benson Idahosa. It was a program organized all over the world. And say so what we are doing is to celebrate the 48th year of the first generation of Idahosa. And they said, after this celebration, we will now announce the next generation. In Nigeria, see that this God is not, he's real. He can never lie. And the program started 11th of November, 2015. 12th, 2015, they celebrated the next generation, the, the, the first generation of Abishab, 40 years. And the 13th, they, were not, they brought in two great men, Bishop Okonkwo and Bishop David Oyelekbo, to come and announce the next generation. On the 13th of November, on the 13th of November, as they were ushering in, the next generation of Abishab said, my twins we are giving birth to double. I shouted. If you see how it happened, it was an earthquake. My wife, uh, boom, busted in the house. My wife was crying, but I knew it was something great. Everywhere in our house, blood. I knew something has happened. My wife, not again, Lord. Not I said, shut up. All things work together for good. Unto those that love God. As I was with my wife in the car, my wife died. She gave up. He said, sit that. And the next thing you saw, bam. I didn't look at her. Because the greatest enemy of faith is the eyes. I didn't look at her. I just heard, Jesus, Jesus. My two children, Jimmy, Gloria, they were crying. Mommy, mommy. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I was driving with one car. Ketakotakata, shakalakata, yaka. No demon. No binding and chaining. Jesus, Jesus. God knows. I thought that the ambulance or the church, I mean the, the hospital ambulance, we are coming to carry a dead person. Immediately we got there and I said, let me look at her face. Her eyes were shining like never before. Strength that I've never known in. She said, it's all over. Somebody that died. And when we went, the ambulance couldn't bring her out of that small car. They were in Australia, they are very careful. She lied with her tummy, twins. They couldn't bring her. I was the one that came and checked. If I drive this car like this, her leg will come out, this, that, that. They were all panicky. They don't know how to carry it because she was lying with her tummy. I came there. I checked it. I came to the driver's side. I checked, checked it. I, said, I calculated. I went into the car. Vroom, 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 vroom. That's it. I shot her. Vroom, 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 vroom. Then her leg came out. They can now turn her. So without me doing that, do you know what happened? When they checked... Jesse, her heartbeat has already stopped. 
They say there's nothing. Boom! They got there. Brought out Jesse. Jesse came back to life. And they brought him after three seconds. What am I saying? There's nobody that God will come in the dream. 2000, the year 2000, and say, if you continue from where I bishop, I will give you double. And I'm alive to see it double. The people I used to see as Eddie Murphy. The people I used to see as. <laughs> no. How I wish you would understand the message. Stop killing yourself and blaming yourself about your weaknesses and foolishness and irrelevance. It's an opportunity for God to bring you to the level of high praise. Just discover the God of your father, Abishab Bessaledawza. Just when you discover him, don't tell him what to do. Just ask him, what do you want me to learn now? Nah. And as he moves you forward, don't worry, when time shall turn, no more. When book, the Bible says book shall be open. Then you will know who had contributed to the success of church of God. Mission. Then you know the reason why God, everything, you will know the reason why God is blessing. The measure to measure your level and whatever you have achieved for God. Church, listen. It's called faith. Be it unto you according to your faith. And what is faith? Believing those things that be not as though they were. As long as you heard it from God, substance offense not sin and evidence of thing hoped for. Look beyond human. Just like my wife. When my wife gave up the ghost, I didn't look at her. My eyes would have been telling, eh? you know, if, I, if I was looking at her, my eyes would convince me that she's dead. And my heart will believe it. Because if you confess with your mouth what your heart says, it will happen to you. I didn't look at her. I didn't look at her dead body. If you see what happened, if you see the jacket, because she wasn't breathing, nothing was happening, everything stopped. So she tried to breathe. She tried, she couldn't. And she was weak. She doesn't know whether to put the chair back or whatever. She was blocked up. What you heard? Bah, 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 bah. As I was holding her. Bah, 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 bah. Nothing was happening. Lifeless. I say, Jesus. I'm the Bible that people are reading. If you kill my wife, they will not serve you because you will kill their wife. I'm the Bible that most people are reading in Australia. If they lose their wife, if I lose my wife, they will read the God of Abishab said that was a kill wives. They cannot give life. That was what was going on in my mind. And I was saying, Jesus, prove yourself faithful. Jesus, this is. But another generation have to die and give birth to a new generation. And that was how I got double. From that 2015 till now, it became my season of high praise. I can't control my praise any longer. Every day, my children, my twins, I see them. I see God's promises. When I was nobody, I will give you double. Remember, at the time he said he will increase it to 10. Watch out. I'm entering into the tent, that season of 10th portion. The only thing that will stop it is my foolishness and the sin. But if I will do for God what God cannot do for himself, God will do for me what I cannot do for myself. Do you know there is something God cannot do for himself? Who can tell us? God can never praise himself. He can never. <laughs> he cannot come and say, everybody hey, go, And you know, until we praise him, he will not dance. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 17. Can you read it? We conclude that. Zephaniah 
7. 17, sorry. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. You see, God, he will follow you. It's only when you start singing, he will follow you. He can't praise himself. If I will remain a life of praise unto him. Oh man. My wife said something yesterday. Because I woke up. I was, you know, you see, when you live with a man, she knows I was tired. Yet I woke up one o'clock. I prayed till four o'clock. You know what she, when she woke up, what she told me? She said, I've never seen a man that loves prayer like you. I've never seen a man. You were so tired. I knew how your day was. And yet I had you. From one o'clock to four o'clock. Praising God. What kind of man are you? No. I have entered into that season of high praise. I can't stay without praising God. I will be losing everything. Do you know where he picked me? Just like David, he came, he counted. My name, Mufilak, even half your people doesn't know the name. Electricity came there in 2005. I couldn't afford marrying a woman and living in a house. People were calling me a mad man because of Shakabaria until they changed my name to Koroko Tokorio. And yet, no. This is your season of high praise. Whatever that we want to stop you from entering into that season, let us stand up now and stop that end. Lord, I reject Kakuka Rabakuria. Let me tell you, you don't understand. No man can stop me, can stop me thanking God, can stop me praising God. Do you know why? Because the evidence why I'm praising God is already with me. I don't struggle to praise God or thank God. Just like me having you children, my youth. You don't know what it means. My call is not, I'm not a pastor. I raise leaders. But for me, for God to help me to discover Jimmy, to discover you, Vane. You say we are two or three, I got out of my name, I am in their midst. I'm not any other youth that comes. Because you guys, your faith cannot be shaken. No, remember, no one gets born again without seeing somebody already born again. So you guys are already there. When I'm there and when I'm not there. Moreover, if I'm there, the youth, they will not look at me. But when they look at two of you, your commitment, you don't know the high praise it has, it has erupted in my heart. They are no more looking unto God, God through Pastor Joseph, but they are now looking unto God through Jimmy and Vanny in their commitment. Oh my God. These are things that causes high praise. God will give you a reason for your high praise this season. He will remember where you were nobody, where you were irrelevant. And yet God decides it. And you will sing like David and say, Lord, who am I? What is my lineage that you have brought me thus far? Open your mouth and begin to decree that this is your season of high praise. Nothing will stop your high praise. This is your season of reckoning. Our month. Shikaboria. Mereketeregede. Ikaragada, 58 year legacy of our Bishop Bessner Hosa. Mama looked at it. Mama checked where they began. Mama remembered all the breakaways. Mama remembered all the heartbreaks. Mama remembered all. He said, This is our season of high praise. This is our season. If not God, if not God, if not God, where would I have been? If not God being on my side, if not God fight 
losing my battles. If not God, Yeketere mo kori ba 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 ba. Yeketere mo simba. One day, one day, one day. Just like I remember, Rikabo Sembori Gada. Everybody called me a foolish person. Mo shakaboria. Mo rimako seketea. We have invested, we have sown into the kingdom of God. Within 2017 and 2018, over 1 point, I mean 2.5 million naira. In the body of Christ. It's not ourselves. Body of Christ. To this bishop, we will sow $1,000. To that reverend minister, $1,250. Even if that God of our bishop, Ben Senator Hosa, because the key to retain the anointing of Abishop Esther is crazy seed sowing. Do you know the money we are using to pay all the debts we are owing is because of this seed we have been sowing. When I remember a man that could not even afford one dollar is now sowing seed in the life of ministers. Paying tithe. To great men like uh, Bishop uh, Harry Westcott. My God, my, who, do you know the person you are talking to? The foolish. <laughs> Church. Ah, this is your season of high praise. You will remember to celebrate. You will remember where God picked you and celebrated him. You will remember where God picked you and celebrated him. But hear this, Church. If you are a seed of this ministry, if you are a pillar, it has been declared in heaven and on earth that this is the season of high praise for you, for your family. Begin to claim it. I will dwell in the season of high praise even now until you come, O oh God. Because it's not magic. It's something that you cause to erupt in the life of people. Shabako Ramakoria. Baba 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 Bako Maku Sakata. Mesku Breke Moko Romo Korea. Boreke Terebuko Rima Hababa. Reba Baba 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 Baba. Mosoko Toro Kotori Baba Baba. Yaka Kekeke Moko Robo Kiraba. My season of high praiser. My season of high praiser. My season of high praiser. When I check where he picked me from. When I check where he picked me from. Rabo Shakaburia. Do you know that God can bring you to a level where you no more be afraid of sickness? You no more be afraid of death. It's called the season of high praise. I can never be afraid of death because I know the antidotes. All things are possible with those that believe. With faith, you can do what God can do. And do you know one good thing about God? If God sees that you have started the process... He will make sure that no death will ever take you. If God sees, the Bible says to Daniel, from the day you decided in your heart to fight, God answered your prayer. From the day you decide to, that in my ministry, the dead shall be raised. The sick shall be healed. From the day you decided, God will remove all those things away from you. This is your season of high praise. There is no more death for you. Until you finish your work. Until you have transferred to your great grandchildren. There is no, you shall never be weak. Your eyes shall not be weak. Your body shall not be weak. You shall be strong. You will not have dementia. You will not be. You will not spend the last days of your life in the bed of languishing. This is your season of high praise. As you praise the Lord, the Lord will empower you. As you praise the Lord, the Lord will strengthen you. As you praise the Lord. David say, What is my lineage? What is. Who am I? Church, this season of high praise. Doesn't come because you've read all the book. Because you have PhD. It's not a magic. It's you recognizing where God picked you. Recognizing your foolishness. Abishomar, do you know what 
she, rem she remembered. And when she remembered it, and God put it in her heart and said, your season of high praise. And say, 50 years legacy. Thank God she's still alive. To tell the story. 50 years. Despite the storm, despite the frustration, despite the betrayal, despite the breakaways, despite the heartbreak, despite what? She sat down and she remembered there was a time my husband, he almost died because of that breakaway. There was a time, and she ch checked now and said, yet the church is still going on. 50 years legacy of Papa and Mama. And he said, God has dropped it in my heart. This is our season of high praise. Church, I want to tell you that you are part of that testimony. You are part of that legacy. So if this is our season of high praise, it's also your season of high praise. God will give you a reason to praise him very hard. God will give you a reason to dance like David. It doesn't matter who is against you. When David danced, that's the danger of season of high praise. The danger of season of high praise is when you are praising God and anybody is against you, that person will become barren. Micah, the daughter of Saul, when David was on his season of high praise and he was praising God and his boxers came out and the wife said, this is supposed to be only me that will be seeing this. Why is it that he's showing it to the whole world? And when David, the Bible says, after he has blessed everybody, he packaged a blessing for his family. And as he was coming to bless his family, he came and said, Micah, darling, may the Lord bless you. He said, get out. Were you not the one showing your boxers? And do you know what David told her? Go there and read it. Second Samuel, chapter 6. Read 26. Yes. Read from 25. Yes. Second Samuel. Chapter 6. 21. Is it 21? Yeah. Then read the three verses last. 19. Yeah. And David returned to bless his household. What's that verse? Chapter 6, 20. 20. Yes. And Micah, the daughter of Saul. And Micah, the daughter of Saul. Came out to meet David. And came out to meet David. And said. And said. How glorious was the king of this Israel. This is the disadvantage. Please, if you see anybody enjoy high praise, don't discourage that person. Otherwise, you will be barren in life. Look at what happened to her. How glorious was the king of Israel today. Look at you. You think you are doing something spectacular? Who uncovered himself today in People the eyes. People saw your bosses. The bosses I gave you for your birthday. <laughs> That I'm, I, I gave you so that we use it and enjoy it when our, when our room has blue light. And you do, did what? Continue. Who uncovered himself today in the eyes of the handmaids mm -hmm. of his servants. Yes. As one of the vain fellow, fellows shamelessly uncover himself. Mm. And David said unto Micah. David said unto Micah, you don't know where God picked me. Continue. It was before the Lord. Hey! Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Listen very well. Which chose me before thy father. Child. And before all his household. He chose me. I was nobody. What is my lineage? Who am I? But yet he chose me. I never dream of being a king. When I see people like you, I see you as Eddie Murphy. I see you as Oprah Winfield. I see you as Michael Jackson. I never knew I would come and sit in the same seat and even do more than your father. He said it was high praise. It was where he picked me. I remembered. Church, I, I keep on telling you, it's just like Jimmy. Your, your life is 100% taken over by God. I'm telling you, if you allow God, if you walk in the will of God, if you are dreaming of having, drive, let's say you want to buy your first car, it's, it's a uh, uh, humoji. God is planning something better for you. I, it's a challenge. Hear this. From now until the next 15 years, I will show you my, my bank account. You will see 
over 100 million coming in every month. Every month. And it will be increasing until they will die. The Bible says, and David transferred to his children. I'm not raising my children to feed me. I will transfer to them. And you see, when I die, that money will stop coming. Because it's a tide from my children all over the world. Pastor, one million dollars, my check. Pastor, one million. You will see it. At least one million dollars. Every month, I will show you it as I'm saying it on the television. You will see it. Because God himself will fund the 20,000 sitter church. God himself will fund the university we are building. If it is God's business, it is his beer. If it is God's business, it is his beer. If it is God's will, it is his beer. If it is God's will, it is his beer. You are as worthy as the responsibility you are willing to take on behalf of God. And then you will understand. I'm saying it again the same way I was saying it. That God is taking me to Australia. I'm saying it again. One day I will come on the media. And I will show you. You will see it co continuously. January, over one million dollars. February, over. I don't know what to do with it again. But God has told me, don't buy private jet with it. Don't buy private jet with it. Feed the hungry. Give scholarship to children that doesn't have money to be educated. Whatever I have shown you all over the world, take it back to Africa through education. Finish it, son. To appoint me ruler No, no, start from it was God that chose me. Let's finish it. It was before the... Okay, sorry. Yeah. It was before the Lord which chose me before thy father. And before all his household to appoint me ruler over the people of the Lord. Do you see now? Somebody that was seeing the saw children as Michael Jackson. Now he has made you ruler. No. No, you don't. You know, when I talk sometimes, do you know there is a tiny line between, a tiny line between faith and arrogance? There's a tiny line between faith and arrogance. Somebody that has great faith, sometimes when he's speaking, people will say he's arrogant. There's a very tiny lie. But Job said, why is it that my spirit is not moved? I don't need you to confirm whether I'm walking by faith or I'm being arrogant. That's your business. Time shatter. Time shatter. Look at it. I see the scripture, I quote the scripture, and it happens to me. David was seeing such children until God made him ruler. Finish it, son. Over Israel, mm -hmm. therefore will I pay, therefore will I play before the Lord. This you know. And I will yet be more vile than thus. Do you know what David said? He said, don't worry, very soon I will move boxers. You only see pant. You see brief. You see, the, the next day I will dance, I will dance. You, you saw pampas and and I, I mean, you saw, in fact, I will show you pampas. <laughs> I will show them that I wear pampas. <laughs> or brief. And then, look at what happened. Do you only read it, finish it. And will be based in my own sight. Mm. And of the maiden servants, which thou hast spoken of, mm. of them shall I be, shall I be had in honor. Jesus. Therefore, Micah, the daughter of Saul, had no child unto the day of her death. Do you, do you know what that means? She was the only approved barren woman in the whole Bible. The only approved. The only woman that was God. The Bible said, none shall be barren among you. Except, why was that? Because a man that was enjoying his high praise. <laughs> You see, you are dancing like a chimpanzee. That's your business. Look, I will dance like a monkey. I will not even dance like a chimpanzee. I will dance like... You don't know why. He has remembered where God picked him. Church, today I'm telling you, if there were people that Australia were meant for, it's not people like Pastor Joseph. If there were people that should have the wife like this, it's not people like Pastor Joseph. If there were people that should have children like this, it's not. If there were people that would have leaders, it's not me. But if God has done it for me, 
picked me from no place to this place. My life will never cease to be a high place. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May the God of our Bishop Benjamin Dahosa, whom ye serve and whom have called you into this vision, may he bring you to the level of high praise. In this season of high praise, you will see what he has done for you. The supernatural things. Causing you from the level of a slave to be a ruler. May the Lord cause you to be a shining example of high praise unto your generation, unto your family. Your high praise will never end. The path of the just is like a shiny light that shineth more, more, more. I decree your high praise season will never end. Instead, it shall increase. Joy of the Holy Ghost. Anointing of gladness. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. May God bless you. In Jesus' name. You are welcome into your season. And the month of high praise. A season where you never have regret. A season where you will never have pain. A season where you will never be sick. Because the joy of the Lord will be your strength. A season of unexpected miracle. A season of untold wealth. A season of unending celebration. A season where men will see you and see Jehovah. A season where your light will so much shine among men and they will glorify your father. A season where you remain the salt of your generation. That even when they don't taste anything good, when they come around you, they will test the perfume of the Holy Ghost. They will test the power of the Holy Ghost. They will test the season of high praise. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Even as we share the grace in fellowship. May the 